Round 71 here at the LA May Classic. Great plan. We'll start with some comments on the day. Awesome day. Uh, obviously came in with high expectations based on how I played last year. We just wanted to play better to start off the round. And uh, got a little rattled on the front nine. Um, and going into uh, I tried the back nine and going into the front nine on two, uh, a couple three putts. And I was able to right the ship from there. Um, I think I hit every green on the back, almost. And gave myself plenty of opportunities, which is pretty cool. Um, I just got to make a couple more putts tomorrow and we'll see what happens. But I think the way I was able to turn it around after being three over through my 11 holes was pretty solid. Great. If we keep it to golf questions, we'll turn it over to questions now. What, what changed, Steph? Well, you were four over through 11. Four over through 11. And then three under the rest of the way. So what, 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 how did you sort of write the shift there? I hit fairways, which for me has been a struggle in the three rounds that I played, or I should say the, the five nines that I played up until the back nine today where uh, you're hitting out the rough all the time and scrambling. It's a little difficult. You put a little extra stress on yourself. I think I started hitting fairways and keeping it easy and just hitting greens and then seeing what happens. And uh, A couple of putts went in and a shot on 17 or 8 was pretty cool. Uh, it's like an inch from going in. so. Uh, yeah, it was fun just to, like I said, be able to play, yeah, hit some decent shots early and then from there turn it into actual scoring, which is good. Steph, you said you were uh, nervous going into last year's tournament, but you shot a better score in this first round. How did you feel going into this? Still nervous, still had the same jitters on the first tee. Um, thankfully, it did not go in a cup holder this year. <laughs> <laughs> I still had to call a rules official over on the first, after the first tee shot, which was a little different, but. Um, I think this time it took me till probably hole eight or nine to really just get comfortable, especially on the greens because, again, you can't simulate that pressure uh, standing over, you know, 10, put, ten foot putts, five foot putts, knowing they, they count. Um, and how, how many of them for me were for pars early. So that was that was the hard part to adjust to. And then once you get a groove, um, good things happen. What's the difference between Ellie Mae Classic jitters and Game 7 jitters for you? It's close. Just in basketball, I'm much more comfortable with the ball in my hand as opposed to standing over a white ball. So uh, that's the only difference. But uh, I want to be successful at everything I do, no matter if it's out here or playing basketball, whatever the case is. And uh, that that you know stress I bring or pressure I put on myself to be try to be great. That's where it all kind of comes out. Because I think everything you do should matter. Great along the same line, Steph. You're describing being rattled or feeling jitters, and that's an interesting. Out here? Yeah, but being in that headspace of, of being a little bad. Uh, with everything we experience helps, and the more times you get into that situation, the better you understand how you're gonna, how you can cope, and how you can uh, center yourself and and deal with the nerves. So. Um, I think that helped having the experience last year to fall back on knowing at some point I would get comfortable and just got to avoid the big mistakes and I did that today and then uh, I started to get, you know, like I said, get in a groove late, late in the round and that was, that was fun. So yeah, there are, there's a lot of butterflies and nerves and jitters and the whole deal just because I want to play well. Did Johnny have advice for you? Johnny was solid today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I blame the 18, the putt on nine, the last one. I blame that one, and we underrated it a little bit. But, do you, uh, Johnny was solid today. Do you think you have a formula yet for finding your best golf? You said what? Do you think you have a formula yet for finding your best golf? Uh, I think so, but like golf, everything it's it, it'll humble you quick. Uh, but for me, I don't try to do anything special. Just try to hit the same shot over and over and over again because that's where I get comfortable. If I try to start doing extra stuff with the ball, working it and hitting low shots, high shots, turning it left and right like these guys can do out here, then that's where I get in trouble. But if I stay within myself and just play my game, um, I should be all right and play well like I did today. You so mentioned Johnny when you made your first 30. He went for a, a fist bump or something. You kind of pulled him in for a hug. How, how restless were you to finally make a birdie there? Yeah, this uh, it took me six holes last year to get my first one. It took me 12 holes this year, so I had to wait a little bit. And it was a nice relief to see the putt go in. And uh, Our talk today was about executing the game plan in terms of like talking about a shot I want to hit, where I want to hit it, and, and executing it. 
And we did that a lot, especially in the last nine holes, and that's where we had that, you know, that, the, the good vibes for him, for sure. How was that number eight? Specifically with Cameron Chan. Uh, Cameron and Martin, they're amazing players, obviously fourth and sixth on the uh, – on the, the 25 list, so they're going to be on the tour next year. It's going to be fun to watch them. Uh, Martin is just so steady. He doesn't really make mistakes. Uh, he can put the ball like crazy. And, uh, and Cameron has an all-around game in terms of he hits it a mile. And it, I've seen I've seen it on TV, and I heard about the numbers. But when you see it in person, it looks effortless, but it just keeps going and going and going. And I want to tell him I appreciate him giving me a little ego boost. We are walking up the ninth fairway. And our balls were on the same line, but there was one probably what 310 down the fairway, and there was another one like 345 down the fairway. He stopped to check my ball to see if it was his. <laughs> oh, cool. well, I can't hit it right here. I appreciate the uh, the confidence he had in me, I guess. Cameron said you were the second uh, most famous person he's played with behind Bobby Jackson and maybe Roy McElroy. Where do you think your game would stack up against the two of them? Oh, I'm not I'm not in that ball game at all. But, uh, <laughs> Um, I was talking. About anytime you get to play golf with great guys, great talents, and you, you know, golfers or guys from other other sports, other industries, it's special. And that's what's the beauty of the game of golf, and what I want to continue to help push is just uh, how much fun it is for everybody to play. And uh, uh, every, no matter what skill level you are, everybody can get out of here, and have a good time, and and, uh, and make those connections. So you talked about your birdies, and you you missed a couple a couple. Um, Potential birdies in that way. What did you attribute that to, and how do you um, how, does, how do you make that better? Again, it's all about just being in that situation more and more. So I had probably seven. If I count on top of my head, probably six birdie putts that were all great looks. He just didn't go in, and I could probably pinpoint a reason whether I didn't have my alignment right, or misread it, or didn't hit the speed right, and all that type of stuff. Which is why golf is so hard because you have to get all that stuff right consistently. To, uh, to be you know, be great at it. So um, one thing I didn't lose was confidence, and I made a couple, and hopefully tomorrow I'll make a little bit more. And shot number eight, did you know it was going to be that good, the one that you almost dunked on the second class hole? Oh, yeah, it was one of those you off the face, hit a flush, knew it was online. And then I hear Johnny in the back whispering under his breath, like, yeah, it's good as you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, hit, I see it hit, the, or I hear the pin rattle, um, and uh, that was a cool moment, so. I didn't know how close it landed when I walked up there. It literally was an inch away from dunking it. And I don't, have, I don't get many dunks. So <laughs> how far was it in what club did you? It was 148 yards and I used a 9 iron. So uh, I know my 9 iron goes about 149. Well, last, year, last year you got a bunch of tweets and texts after your ground. Any particularly memorable good luck text you got yesterday or this morning? Uh, I got so much uh, love. Justin Thomas texted me um, this earlier this week saying good luck and play your game. Steven Yeager hit me uh, this morning and told me it's not, not bad for you. This <laughs> um, sign is up on the in between the 18th green and the first tee. I gave it a nice little uppercut on the way back. Uh, those two guys and uh, Last year was crazy, just obviously this is my first experience being out here and uh, shocked a lot of people, so there's a lot of love. Obviously there's a web.com tournament out here and there's a PGA championship going on in St. Louis, so uh, you guys are busy. Stuff along those lines, who do you anticipate hearing from that you might, that you just know you're going to hear from? I uh, have no idea. No idea? No, no idea. Contact list is pretty deep. <laughs> no one razz you or anything or give you any harassment? Say what? Nobody will razz you or give you any harassment? Oh, well, everybody. I'm sure they'll come once today and see what I shot today. Where would you rate this round in like your long career of golf, considering the pressure and the situation? Uh, I don't know. It's hard. I mean, every round's fun and has different uh, memories to it. Uh, but as far as you best playing, considering the pressure? It was, considering the pressure, it's probably second. I uh, had a round in Tahoe last year on Sunday. I almost got a win. I think I shot 67 that day. But considering how there's a probably a turning point today on 11 or sorry two green when I three putted it was four over. Could have gone you know in the trash can the whole round if I let you know my motion get the best of me. But I had a good drive on the next tee shot. Made a birdie there. And then either part of birdie all the way in. So uh, to be able to 
reel myself back in this morning. Hey, Steph, I have to ask walk. you an off-topic question, but could you talk to us about your commitment to Neil Wilson's family for that trip? Oh, yeah, it was an amazing opportunity to have my uh, SC30 Select Camp as our fifth year. We have had a showcase game the last two years, um, and this year we, we live-streamed it on, on Facebook, and we had people that were watching uh, donate uh, to their family. Uh, I met the entire family in the back uh, before the game, and obviously send my condolences to them. We use the game as an opportunity to support the family uh, through this tough time and uh, we raise a lot of money. So uh, to have the camp in, impact you know, our family and hopefully give them a boost right now is, is pretty special. Okay, Ron, final question? Steph, uh, as well as you play, not to be the voice of, of uh, reality here, but as well as you play, you're still top 111. How difficult will it be? <laughs> I'm setting you up. How, um, how difficult will it still be to make the cut? And what is that? I mean, you obviously played very well to come back and post 71, and it's still well off the cup, you know, a couple shots off the cup. Oh, yeah, I mean, that speaks to the talent out here. Obviously, I came out here, that was the goal of mine, and it still is. I think it's within shot. I didn't lose it today, so that was fun. But it speaks to how hard it is to make it on this tour, to succeed on this tour, and then you know, move on to the PGA Tour. So I have nothing but respect for the grind that these guys go through. and. Uh, with their sights set on getting their tour, tour cards every year. Uh, I was talking to Martin, like the difference between, you know, making the cut each week or winning the tournament, could be one or two shots here and there. Uh, in basketball, I can throw a behind the back pass out of bounds and I can get a stop on the other end and get it back pretty quick. Um, right here, every shot's so important. So definitely have respect for that. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I can come out and post a low number. And uh, I don't know what the projected cut line and all that type of stuff after the round today, but it should be, should be close. You think you saw the chance, though? I, I, I know I got to go pretty low tomorrow, but uh, the way I play on the back nine, I hope I can make a couple more putts, who knows. Great. Thanks, Seth. Thank you. We've got some camera champs coming up next. This is Martin Trainer. <laughs> 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 <laughs>